Long Dixon one on one. Got it. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. It's sort of been a long process, sort of coming from the Gold Coast and getting down here and getting settled, and very excited to get out there Sunday and and uh, yeah, start my career properly with the Port Adelaide boys. Yeah, can't thank the club enough for sort of getting me here and giving me the opportunity. <laughs> So Charlie's led us into his lounge room tonight as he ponders this for Easter Sunday. Charlie, welcome to AFL 360. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, so you've said you're excited there, and there is a buzz around Adelaide about you being out there. I'm curious, are you the sort of character that relishes the idea of being the man for Port Adelaide up front? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of football's sort of thing that... It, well, it's sort of been easier for me just to go out there and play the way I sort of play. And it's, yeah, I've never really thought too much else about it, really. Um, I'm pretty excited to get out there this weekend. Uh, I mean, it's been a long pre-season and, yeah, with a little hiccup. But, um, no, I'm really excited. But whether it be the man or whatever they call it... Um, yeah, I suppose if people want to say that, they're more than welcome to. Can you feel a bit of a, a bubble of excitement around your debut? from the outside? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. I mean, uh, it's sort of a bit different down here than the Gold Coast where people sort of uh, tend to know who you are and always sort of, everyone sort of bump into, they seem, seem to uh, wish me luck and they're excited to see me uh, sort of run out for the port. So, yeah, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's exciting and I'm looking forward to it. Charlie, I reckon you're a bit unlucky to be lumped into the very poor behaviour of the Gold Coast Suns, to be honest. I thought you were really, really unlucky. That said, you've gone to a new club and they've got their own cultural standards. What was the expectation put on you by the leadership group and by the coach? Um, pretty much to come in and just um, stick, have those those sort of guidelines that they have and, and stick to them and, and basically um, just adapt to the way they, they want me to play and, and fit into their club and their culture and everything they sort of stand for and um, there's sort of no grey area around that and um, yeah, I, th I think the boys have been very wel welcoming um, so as soon as I sort of got here so um, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. The club's been uh, amazing to me and helped me sort of get settled. When you arrived, did you feel you had something to prove, both as a person because of what was written about you and as a footballer? Because what is it, your seventh season, your sixth season? You've, a couple of years you struggled to get on the park there, but the expectations are, are pretty high. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I sort of tend to put high expectations on myself and I think if you don't strive to be better every year I mean there's, there's sort of you you're probably going to look to fall look to fall out of the competition so um, I'm I'm sort of banking on playing every game this year I mean I've had a big pre-season but um, yeah I've sort of had injury problems but I think it's I've got a really good base this year and I'm really excited to get to get out there and actually get back into the footy swing of things and, and play as many games as I can. It was an interesting question that Jared asked straight away, do you want to be the man and, and your answer? Because I, pe I reckon people have looked at you and I certainly look at you and say, this guy could be anything. But then I'll be watching you and then you don't play for five or six weeks and the injuries get you. Have you been unlucky all the way through? Has your mind always been um, where it should be? in preparation to play AFL football and why, why if it isn't, why has it, why has it changed this year? Um, I think my mind's sort of been there sort of most of the time. I mean, no one wants to underachieve. Um, I'm, I mean, I, yeah, I, I have got loose ankles, um, some other sort of injuries that were a bit unlucky with sort of fracturing my face and missing five to six weeks that was a um, just a collision um, ankle my ankles were probably the biggest issue in the last sort of two to three years so um, mindset's always been the same always wanted to play as many games as I wanted and um, I just not much has changed I just I'm just in a different sort of part of part of Australia and and playing um, 
for a different club. And I think, um, yeah, I think it's time for me to sort of play every game this year and more. So hopefully playing the finals. Is Ken Hinckley a significant figure for you, Charlie, who you obviously knew from the Gold Coast and now he's the, he's the head coach? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I've sort of got along with Kenny really well um, at the Gold Coast. Um, yeah, and it, it was a big draw card for me to um, to get back with, to, yeah, have Kenny sort of as a coach. And um, he, he's unreal. He's, he's very um, very one-on-one, I think. He, he gets around to every player. He's always very honest, and um, if you're not doing any, doing something right, you know he'll he'll sort of whack you between the eyes, and I think that's that's something that um, is is really good, and you need need to know where you stand. Charlie, we look forward to seeing where you do stand. I suspect that's going to be quite imposing down at the Adelaide Oval. The best of luck with it. Host at stake. You spoke to him before. I think uh, Charlie Dixon's got the, the most at stake. He's he's come over on a big contract. He's only played 60-odd mm. games in the possible 100. So to come over to a club, you can hide in the Gold Coast when he didn't play good football, but you can't hide in Adelaide. There's, coming from Adelaide, it's it's a uh, football-first mentality. So if he doesn't play well, you get told about it. Average player, good player, very good player. Give me an answer. <laughs> Still can be a good player, can be a great player. But... Um, he, I think he's admitted himself he's got to get his body right and I think it's probably a work rate issue with him as well. I've always stood him when we play the Gold Coast and I thought I'm probably not the fittest guy out there. That's I, was always, I was always still able to keep up with him. So that's one thing I'm going to be looking for with, with Charlie Dixon this year is just his work rate uh, around the ball and if he does push into the ruck.